I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting example on squares of numbers. Write the number 35 as difference between two squares, sum of a prime number and a square, sum of three squares. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now if you try to do it straight away, it might be slightly difficult. But now try to see it like this. Let us write down all the numbers which we know, which will give you square up to 35. So the numbers could be, let's say numbers we'll write and we'll write their squares. For example, 1. Square of 1 is 1, 2. 2 square is 4, so we write 4, 3. 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 is 25, and 6 is 36. Once you have squares of number in front of you, then it becomes very simple to answer this question. Now, you can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Right? Now we need difference between two squares. That means bit difference between two of these numbers should give us 35. So clearly that could be between 1 and 36, correct? So the answer could be 6 square minus 1 square, right? So we get the answer here as 6 square minus 1 square. 6 square is 36 and 1 square is 1, we get 35. So this is equal to 35. Clear? Next is sum of a prime number and a square. So you have to add a prime number and a square. Now which combination can work? Now that is kind of tricky. So what we can do here is Look into these, sum of a prime number and a square. So what should I add to these to get 35? So we want sum equals to 35. To make 35, what should I add? What should I add to these numbers? That is what we are looking for, right? So you will notice that here I have to add 35, which is not prime number. Here, I have to add 31, that is a prime number, right? In 9, what should I add? I have to add 26, which is an even number, not a prime number. Now, in this case, to get 35, I have to add 9 plus, that is 19, which is also a prime number. Now, here to get 35, I have to add 10, and here actually I have to subtract, right? So we have two solutions. We have two solutions here. We could give the solution as sum of a prime number and a square. So, so one of them could be adding 31 to 2 square. The other could be adding 4 square and 19. So there are two solutions. One we could write prime number and a square. So prime number is 31 plus square of 2. That is also equal to prime number 19 plus 4 square. Both are 35. Correct? So that could be another solution. Right? So we got two of them. Now let's look into the third one, which is sum of three squares. So we need to Combine three of them to get 35. So 35 is a key number. So which three can be combined? Square. So we have to combine some three of them to get 35. So look into these. Which can work for you? Right. So straight away, what you could do is, you could add these three numbers. 1 plus 9 is 10. And 10 plus 25 is 35. That means we are looking into squares of 1, 3, and 5. So sum of 3 squares means 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. 
which is equal to as you can see 1 plus 9 which is 10 plus 25 is 35 do you see that so that is how you could get your answer otherwise it could be difficult so without this list of your numbers it becomes a very difficult question so my suggestion here is that when you have such a question it is better to write the possible numbers and then look for solution that helps i hope you find this video interesting and useful feel free to write your comments and share your views if you really like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best